Namaste. Today's video is about a topic which I think every one of us think about sometime or the other in life. It is about the early morning blues or the Monday morning blues which all of us go through. Now why do we have this uh, what you call the blues? The blues only means the mind is a bit reluctant to start the day, to begin the day. And why does that happen? Monday morning blues of course because Saturday and Sunday if you've had a weekend, a very leisurely weekend then Monday to get back into the routine sometimes you find it a little bit reluctant. Children of course when school starts on Monday they are so reluctant to go. But let's talk about the normal everyday life. Even in everyday life many people have this early morning blues. They say that starting trouble is there. When I wake up in the morning I just can't find the energy or the enthusiasm to do anything. I really don't know what to do, how to begin the day. Then later on as it goes of course things fall into place but early morning so much time gets wasted also. How can we avoid that and this video is going to be about that. I am going to give you just three points, three tips. Just think about them, try to implement them and you will see a very big difference. The first and foremost is to have an enjoyable routine. Early morning routine can be anything that you enjoy. It can be an early morning walk or it can be exercise that you like to do, yoga that you like to do. If it's meditation, it's wonderful. These are all, you know, for people who are really disciplined, they like to do all this in the morning. That makes them look forward to the day. So when the alarm goes off, yes, I have to start my walk or I have to start my meditation or my yoga. So that keeps you going and you can definitely wake up and say, yes, I have to begin the day with this. Supposing you generally have to begin your day at 6 o'clock, let's say 6 o'clock in the morning so that you can complete certain things by a given time. Make sure that you have at least half an hour before that for yourself, 5.30, make it 5.30, try to get up at 5.30 and tell yourself this half an hour is mine, so let me do whatever I like in this time. It can be like I said meditation or yoga or a walk or if not all that, it can be just make a cup of tea or coffee and have it, sit by yourself and have it. Maybe you like to go through the news or you just like to have the coffee or tea or whatever you have in the morning. Or some people may like to play some divine songs early in the morning so that the house is full of good energy. So something like that to begin your day. Have a good routine so that you don't have to wake up and think what am I going to do now. That should never be the case. When you wake up in the morning, the mind should be clear about a routine and that will start you going very early in the morning and with great enthusiasm and great energy. That's one point. The second point is Think about what all you can look forward to during that day. And every day there may not be something great happening or something interesting happening. But even in the daily routine, if you are going to office and if there is some work pending, then think about it as you wake up and say, today I am going to complete that work. As soon as I go to office, I will keep my focus there. I will not get distracted. I will not allow any time to be wasted and I will just finish that work. So imagine how elated and good you will feel when that work is completed. So that will give you that enthusiasm to begin the day. Something like that. Or maybe in the evening you are planning to go to some shop. Then you can think about that. What today, what will I buy? What all will I buy? What all do I have to do when I go to the shop or the mall or whatever it is? Or supposing you are going to meet your friend. Maybe you are planning something like that. Then in the morning itself, even if the meeting is going to happen much later on in the day, as you wake up in the morning, think about that happiness that I am going to meet this person today and after a long time we will be meeting. So that will give you that enthusiasm to get up. It may be a call that you have been postponing. You want to call somebody, your friend or your relative or somebody or your colleague, someone and you have been postponing, postponing it for a few days. So you, this morning when you wake up, you say, yes, today I will do that. I will make that call. I will complete it and uh, have a good chat. So something like that to look forward to. Some of you may say, okay, in the evening I will go to this temple. So it's something to look forward to. So each one has certain things which can happen in day-to-day -day life, which you can look forward to. It need not be something big, something great. It can be something from the routine only. But you can create that enthusiasm in your mind if you make up your mind to make the day a very purposeful one. So do something like that and if you have two, three things to look forward to, then that's more than enough. 
so that should give you that enthusiasm to get up from the bed and uh, begin your day with a lot of energy and the third one which i always uh, like to talk about is meditation meditate on the previous night itself before you go to bed just take 10 minutes to go into a meditative state if you can go to the alpha level of the mind that will be great so just go to the alpha level or it's a simple meditative state with some deep breathing and program the entire day for the next day what all you would like to do for the in during the next day and program it with time i will wake up at 5 30 i will do this 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 till six o'clock it's my time from six i will start my cooking or i'll start getting ready or i'll start do this what doing this whatever you have for that day and with the time frame plan everything that you would like to do during that coming day and when you plan like this when you program like this in a meditative state you will find that definitely most of the things happen during that time frame so when you do that then when you get up in the morning there is clarity you know what you want to do during that day and when there is clarity about what you want to do you will not waste time otherwise if you get up and then start wondering what should i do today then the, a lot of time gets wasted i've seen this with many many people so a clear program in the mind can always make things happen for you it can even be a simple thing like watching a particular movie if you are interested in that then you say today i am going to watch this movie it's something to look forward to so create a good day for yourself by creating the enthusiasm and that will make a day really good for you and you will feel very good when the day ends also now after watching this video i would request you to write down in the comment section what are the things that enthuse you to get out of the bed so that may help many people and i would also really like to know so do write in the comment section and have a good day